Hello and welcome back to the channel. Now this is the first video I've recorded since September. Um, I'm basically doing 31 days sober between October and the 4th of November. And this is one of the days where I'm not being sober because I've come away uh, for my wedding anniversary with Mrs. B. But during Sober October, I was sent by Slurpy, Slurpy Dave from Slurpy Dave Beer pubs and jokes Alan Mann go and check him out he is superb top bloke fantastic videos honestly absolutely entertainment top quality first class top guy um, Dave sent me the Bushies Bramble Ale by Bushies that is the Ale of Man coming in at 4.4% and he also sent me a Bushies guide of the Ale of Man Pub and Restaurants Guide and Beer Mat, the Bushies, Back to Reality 2022. So I'm going to put my pint glass. You probably notice the background. I'm in Dorset. I'm away, so I'm not at home. And today I went and searched charity shops so I could have a pint pot because the caravan, caravan, the caravan that I'm in doesn't have these sort of glasses, it just has wine glasses. So it doesn't really help me, especially doing these reviews. So when I got myself one, one pound fifty, old style glass, give it a good scrub. Looks like it's come up very well. So chuff of that. It's not nucleated. So again, brilliant. And I like them old style glasses. Um, so yeah, so cheers, Dave. Thanks very much. You sent all this to me. Superb. Really appreciate it. You didn't have to do this, but you're you're top gen. I'm really looking forward to this. So this is a bramble beer. Now I've Forgotten my glasses. I've come all the way away and I've forgotten my glasses. So I'm going to read it like this. It looks a bit weird, doesn't it? It says, Bushies, Ale of Man, a delicious red ale, subtly flavoured with blackberries, picked from bushes growing alongside our brewery at Mount Murray. And it's www.bushies.com. And also, in this, I know that the other night, Dave... Um, sent me a message saying he was in the, the Rovers, the Rovers return. Um, and that is in Douglas, Isle of Man. And it's a small, busy backstreet town pub in the, and the oldest in Douglas. Well, it's a toss up between the Rovers return and the saddler on the key or saddle on the key. So I'm sure Dave will let me know about that one. But this little guide, it's got loads of information about bushes and it's got obviously got the guide of their pubs and restaurants. And it's really interesting. It's got their regular beers, the Manx Bitter, the Ruby Mild, Castletown Bitter, Old Bushy Tail, Norseman Craft Lager, and I think I'm right. I'm, I'm sure I've read it in here that they're only brewery on the Isle of Man at Brew, a lager. Correct me if I'm wrong again. Uh, they've got a Wheeze beer, and then we've got the Seasonal, and in the Seasonal is the Bramble beer, which is this beer, which I'm going to be tasting. So there's lots of things in here. Um, it also tells you about the purity, like very much like the purity law in Germany. Um, it says here, to many, to many people, the Isle of Man is a paradise of beer lovers with brewing traditions going back over centuries. Top quality barley for brewing is grown in fields with rich soils complemented by clean, pure water. The Isle of Man Pure Beer Act, also known as the Manx Pure Beer Act, or simply the Pure Beer Act, is a law on the Isle of Man regulating ingredients in beer. It was enacted by the, I'm hopefully going to say this right, Tinwald, the island's government in 1874, stating that only water, malt, sugar and hops were allowed to be used in production. The note says here, no brewer shall use in the brewing, making, mixing with recovering or colouring any beer or liquid made to resemble beer or have in his possession any copperus, coccolus, indicus, nux vomica, grains of paradise, guinea pepper or opium or any article, ingredient or preparation, what whatever for a substitute for malt sugar or hops the law has been encouraged by the campaign for real ale who have strongly criticized any changes and say it allows a better class of ale to be produced to be produced by the bushes head brewer martin brunschweller bushes head martin brunschweller have i got that right dave says the act helped their ruby mild beer win a regional beer award because they could not add chemicals or preservatives what on earth was going on in the world of brewing in those days 
he's superb. And then, like I say, it's got an article here about the Rose Return pub. It's got other little bits and snippets about pubs. The Bay on Port Erin's in the seafront. It's got a map, the Alan Man there. And it's got these little shop right places. Now, I'm pretty sure, certain it's got, it's like it's got here Douglas, Onken, Port Erin, Peel, Ramsey, and Castletown. Stores all over the island. And that's where I'm sure you can buy Bushy's beers. Um, and it goes on, there's lots of different things near from bushes lots of them really interesting our beers and it goes in that explains the different beers and gives you a bit of detail which is absolutely superb it really is it's just i dave sent me another bushes beer over i think that was uh the bitter and i absolutely loved it so i'm really looking forward to this and also i'm going to be doing that's that, that again bushes ale i'm going to be doing the trick that uh, I think, to be honest, Slurpee invented, and it's using the syringe. Now, I use it lots now. Um, not as much as Don, but uh, yeah, I forget, forget a beer, and that's what I'll give it a bit more of that mouthfeel, a bit like a, you know, a real ale from a cask, that's what I'm gonna do. So let's crack into this anyway. Let's get into it. Oh yeah, got a bit of life, here we go. Here's Rob trying to get into a beer that he's not even took the cap off. It's been that long since I've had a beer, forgotten what to do with it. So, I'm pretty certain we pour about three quarters. You gotta remember as well, this is a real ale. So it's come, it's, it's not it's not carbonated. It's like out of a, a cask. Then we give it a pump. Hopefully I do this right, Dave. So what I do, take some in, a bit of oxygen in there, and then give it a blast and it brings it. But what I've seen Dave do, like a cask. And see how it's gonna settle now. Now if you can see that on the camera. But just like gonna get it from a cask from a beer engine. So that beer is now settling. Do I need to give it another blast? Possibly, can't really tell. Let me give it another blast anyway. Oh yeah. Then we let that settle, and then we just top it up. So, the colour, I mean, let it settle a bit. The colour, you can see it in there, it's definitely got a red hue to it. Definitely. And this has travelled all the way from Manchester. Well, it's travelled from Yale Man to Manchester, and then with me, all the way to Dorset, which is just fantastic. This beer's been on its travels. Let's top it up now. There you go, I might have put a bit too much in there. But there you go. It's still settling. It's still settling. <laughs> oh, you can see it. You can tell them there. Because the beer is clear as a bell in here and it's still settling in there. Let me get the aroma. Oh, I'll tell you. You're getting toffee there. Toffee and caramel straight away. Ah, oh. You're getting like, I'm not 100% sure what hops are in this. I'm sure Dave's told me. But you're getting like a hedgerow hoppiness as well. When I, when, when, when I say hedgerow, I mean like um, fruits and hedgerow. Great there. Sorry, not grapefruit. Um, what are they called now? Them gooseberries. Um, a little bit of like nettle, um, blackberry itself. Well, obviously, because there's blackberries in it, but you're getting that aroma. It smells really, really good. There you go. If I had a torch now, I'd be able to show you that. Let's see if Mrs. B will let me borrow a torch. But if you can see that, it's still settling through. Yeah, it's still settling through, but you can see the red hues in there for sure. Looks superb, it really does. I'm looking forward to this. Cheers, Dave. Look at that. Conditioned really well. Let me dive in. Cheers. Oh, that's a cracker. Oh. 
That's an easy drinker, isn't it? What did I say this was? 4.4%. That is stunning. Oh, I'm going to be tell you. I've not had a drink for a while because I've been doing this, but that is absolutely stunning. Look at that. Look at that in the glass. It's absolutely gorgeous beer. Let me have another sip. It's smooth. Because it is from the cask, carbonation is really low, which I love. It feels like I've mean, just poured it out of the, the beer engine myself, to be honest. It's got caramel. And it's got a nice, I'll go back to that hedgerow. It's got a hedgerow bitterness there. And then that blackberry is really subtle. So it feels like I'm drinking a best bitter with a background note of the blackberries. So the blackberries are not in your face. So the, 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 they are subtle and they're sitting at the back and they're tingling across the palate. And it is perfect. The bitterness is balanced. <sighs> Oh, that is, that's cracking. Look at that now, now it's settled again. Look at that beer. That is absolutely gorgeous. Dave, you're a lucky man. You're really, really lucky having bushes on the island and drinking them beers. The toffee, the caramel is perfect. So you're getting that from the malt. And then you're getting that, like I say, that nice balanced bitterness. It's just on the side of the tongue. But then you're getting that undertone of that blackberry. And it, I keep saying hedgerow because there's a hedgerow flavour going on there. A little bit to me, a bit of the gooseberries, um, the nettle, that sort of thing. Like a British hedgerow. And when I go, for, when, I, when I say hedgerow, when I'm walking through a field and get the smell of hedgerow, that's the imagine, imagine what I'm tasting there as well. I'm going to end up drinking all this pretty quick. Mrs. B sat here. I'm going to ask Mrs. B to taste this. Because she won't come on the camera, but she'll taste it off camera. And she's got a really good palate. So it's going to be interesting. On your nose, what are you getting on the nose on that? It's fruity. Fruity. Yeah. What's, what's, what, what sort of fruit would you say, though? It's not American citrus fruits. It's not no, that. No, it's like berries. Like There's an earthiness. Berries. There's an earthiness, isn't there, there? And yeah. berries, yeah. It's like yeah. Dark berries. And that's what I'm I sort of explain as hedgerow. It smells nice. Taste that then. I mean you don't drink bitters. Oh, that's nice. That's nice that. What do you get in the flavour? It's really smooth, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it actually tastes like it smells, which I know sounds really daft, but you've got like the dark fruit. Mm. That's nice, that. It is, it's a good beer, isn't it? Mm. Like I say, 4.4%. Mushies. 4.4%, you wouldn't think. <laughs> it drinks so easy, don't I mean? I, nice. I nearly drank a pint of it, that's just ridiculous already. <laughs> but the colour, I mean, can I borrow your phone again? The colour now, now it's settled after I agitated it up. Sorry about the... There you go, don't know if you can see that colour now. Coming through better. But for me, in, in the light I've got, the natural light, it is absolutely superb. It really is. What a drink. Okay. I think I'm done because I want to pour that and carry on drinking it because I'm really enjoying it. Cheers, Dave. Dave, Slurpy Dave, beer, pubs, and a man. Jokes. I always say it wrong, but I'll put it up anyway. Um, go and check him out. Absolutely superb. I mean, yeah, his video is so entertaining and... I can't, yeah, I can't, you know, go on bang on about him too much, but you know, he is a top bloke. Cheers, Dave, and uh, there will be a care package coming over to the Isle of Man from me as well. But I'm really enjoyed that. I'm so pleased. I've brewed myself a, um, a bramble black blackberry bitter. Um, I'll send you a bottle of that, but you're not going to get the clarity because what I did, I did blackberries in the boil, then I did blackberries in the secondary so it's brought over a bit of that hazy as well so yeah it's not i can't compare it to that because that clarity is really good and it's really subtle and it's really well balanced beer okay 
Oh, let me score it. So I'm in Dorset. I normally score bees. When I go to Dorset, I score fossils. But it's a Manx beer. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to give it three kippers. Definitely worth three kippers of anyone's money. It's superb. It really is. Cheers, Dave. Cheers, everyone. Thanks. And I'll see you all on the next one.